Chapter four, Fly Like Superman. When I was little, me and my mom went on vacation to a bunch of theme parks in Florida. One of the coolest rides was a ride called Back to the Future. And I liked it, even though I hadn't seen the movie yet, which I did as soon as we got home. It's about this kid that goes back in time before he was born and tries to stop bad stuff from happening to his parents. A totally cool idea, even if it can't happen in real life. Anyhow, that's what it's like at Miss Tristy's house. Like the airplane that took me to New Orleans went back in time and everything is from 50 years ago. Her little kitchen is clean and shiny, but the appliances could be out of a museum if they had a museum about old kitchens. The telephone is this big black thing with a rotary dial instead of buttons and a receiver so heavy that she has to lift it with both hands. The old tube model TV only gets one blurry channel because Miss Trissy doesn't have cable. Mostly, she listens to gospel songs on an old table radio and sings along, which sounds kind of stupid, but it's actually sort of beautiful once you get used to it. The other thing that's like going back in time is that she doesn't have a seat. Air conditioning might as well has never been invented as far as Miss Trissy is concerned. She doesn't believe in it, says air conditioning will give you wetness of the lungs. That's what made me a widow, she said. Wet lungs took my poor husband, Henry. I almost say it was probably the heat that killed her husband, but I don't have the energy to smart mouth. That's how hot it is. And that's mostly what I remember about the first three days in Smellyville. The heat that never stopped. How it was too hot to go outside in the daytime because the sun would hit you like a hot fist. I took Bandy out for his walks, of course, but we never went much farther than the empty lot at the end of the street because he'd whimper from the heat and want me to carry him back into the shade. Mostly, he wanted to lie on his belly on the linoleum in the kitchen and pant and give me looks like the weather was all my fault. Nothing I could do about the temperature, you silly dog. Want a treat? Does that help? It usually does. In the evening, when it was a little cooler, we'd sit outside on the wooden porch they call a gallery and drink sweet iced tea, and Miss Trissy would tell stories from the old days about when my father and his brother were little, and they played Superman in this very yard. That was their favorite, Superman, because he could fly. Don't matter, he was a white man. Them two wanted to be a Superman just the same. They tie towels around their necks for capes, and they stand on the gallery rail and make wishing noises like they was flying. Gave me fits. What if they fell off and broke their heads? Couldn't stop them, though. They was determined to be Superman. And when Henry, he my husband at the time, when Henry said there's only one Superman, how could you both be Superman? They say Superman can be anything he wants, even two people. They was that close, them two. Peas in a pod. I kept waiting for her to tell me what me what happened, how my Uncle James got killed, and why my father ran away. But she never quite got to that, gets to that part. By and by, she says, by and by. That's mostly all we do, really, sit around and talk, because Miss Trissy is so old, she doesn't like to leave the house except to go to church. The true fact is, even though she turns out to be nice and all, it's really pretty boring with no games and no TV, and I'm thinking only a few more days and this will be over, and then school starts, which I'm sort of looking forward to, even though I never admit it to anyone. Saturday morning, the old phone rings. Bandy starts barking, and I'm um, shushing him, when Miss Trissy hands me the receiver and says, Oh, my lordy, your mama child. Mom calls my cell phone every day, usually in the morning. For the past couple of days, she's been concerned about this hurricane out in the Atlantic somewhere, which was supposed to be over once it hit Florida. But the Weather Channel has got her all riled up. Something about a bullseye? I tried your cell, but it won't go through. Too many calls, I guess, which is no surprise. The storm track changed. The storm didn't die out like they thought. It came back to life when it crossed over Florida and hit that warm water in the Gulf. It got really big, really big. And it's a, now it's a big, huge storm, aiming straight for New Orleans. They say the storm surge might be 20 feet high, high enough to flood the whole city. You've got to leave, Zany. You and Miss Trissy, you've got to get out of there. I explained that Miss Trissy doesn't have a car. But of course, Mom already knows. She has a plan which is totally typical because my mom always has a plan. You're coming home, she tells me. You and Miss Trissy both. All you have to do is get to the airport. Can you do that? 